What is going on everybody? Chuck here. And today we're going to go over the Metrato, uh settings, server settings for Pal World. Now these settings are actually pretty universal for the most part for any other server that you may be running on. Like survival host or survival servers, G portal, so on and so forth. Uh, so right now we're in the main Nitrado dashboard. As you guys see here, they've actually updated it a little bit. So this right now, my server name, we went ahead and changed it. It is Chalks Gaming Public. We have a free public server for anybody who wants to join. So if you guys are looking just to join a server and play with other people, join the Discord. And yeah, all that information is right there, ready and free. Now, scrolling down. We have, again, your UI may look a little bit different, but we're just going to go ahead and use this new AI or UI that they have. So daytime speed rate and nighttime speed rate. So how fast? It's kind of it's kind of strange, but uh, I know people who've put this at 2.3 and makes the days much longer. So if you want to expend, extend the rate, that's how you would do that or decrease it. If you want less, you know, less nighttime, we can go ahead and adjust that here. XP rate should be pretty self-explanatory. You know how much XP you want. Enemy drop rate. This is a multiplier. How rare of items you want them to drop. How many items you want them to drop. Go ahead and change that there. Death penalty. This is one of the biggest questions. We have four dip 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 We have four different options. Drop nothing. So if you're doing it in config, it just type in nothing. Lose items only or in config, just type in items. Lose items and equipment or in config items and equipment. Or you lose item equipment and pals or in config all. So that's one way to adjust the difficulty. Uh, maximum players in guild. It's set to 20, but you only can have like what? Thir 32 people in the server. So I don't know how how important that is to most people. Capture rate might be super important. Do you want to increase the capture rate of the default balls, the the higher, the higher, uh, you know, orbs and all that kind of stuff? That's going to be right here. Pal spawn rate. How frequent and and the quantities of pals you want them to spawn. If you increase this number too high. You're probably going to have server stability issues. And right now, a lot of servers have those issues. Um, unfortunately, this is not a guide on how to fix your server from crashing and restarting. Just throwing that out there. And we have more of, you know, attack, pal attack, stomach. All of this is should be pretty self-explanatory on what they do. It's, you know the rate in which the pal's hunger decreases. So if you, I'm pretty sure if you do less, it's gonna go more because it's decreasing the rate. Going down here, here's another popular, another popular question. The egg hatch timer. This is set in hours and this is to incubate massive eggs, so the largest eggs. So if we set this down to one, it's going to be one hour. Or if we don't, if we leave it at default, three days. Player uh, player stats are exactly like the PAL stats. If you want to, you, know, you guys can change those as you guys see fit. There's no recommendation for me on that. Build. Build object damage rate and de deterioration rate. You can, you know, my my members server. If you guys want to join that, you go ahead and join the membership program. Uh, the member server has a set to where the buildings don't deteriorate. What that means is, is you can build a base outside of your your pal box, and you won't have to worry about it taking damage over time. Although it will be susceptible to raids, so that is a that is a real thing. And then we have collection drop rates, collection HP rates, and respawn rate. All that should be pretty self-explanatory. If you guys don't know what that is, that's when you go up and you hit a tree, hit an ore mine, stuff like that. So, as of right now, 
there still is no way to fix if you have like a a mining base and you log back in and they're all sick and there's no way to avoid that unlike in single player you can't avoid that but with that being said everybody this is a quick uh response to someone who posted my comments about asking to go over it so i thought i would highlight the big key ones which is death penalty xp rate egg and a few other ones there is the ability to connect your PAL servers to like an Archon. So you can use like PAL bots to show server status, stuff like that. Right now, Nitrados is kind of buggy, not really working all that well. Um, it's hit and miss for whether you can get it to go or not. So with that being said, guys, that wraps up this video. Again, if you guys are looking just to join a public server, if you guys want to join a public server, we have a public server that is open. And right now, our Nitrado server is pretty stable. Only, you know, it only goes down once like every three to four hours. So it's not too bad. Uh, also, join the Discord. Like, subscribe. If you guys have any more questions, comments down below. And we'll see you guys next time.